Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So we're back in The Sims 4, big surprise I'm sure. Been getting into my skill building lately. Started, well accidentally kind of started a series where we're seeing what happens as we build certain skills. So I've got my Sim here, her name is Krista Ivy. She's currently on vacation in Granite Falls because today we're gonna be building up the herbalism skill. A skill that I have never touched before. I don't even know how to build it. But someone asked me in the comments of one of my older videos if I could do this skill, so... If you asked that question and you know it was you, then this is for you. Probably we should go buy supplies and... I guess explore the woods. That That is how I imagine we <laughs> uncover herbs. I'm not joking when I say I've never, never touched this skill. I don't think I've ever had a sim even reach level one of herbalism. So this will be an adventure for everyone involved. So I'm guessing if I'm going to be exploring the woods, I'm going to need some supplies. I don't need any beds. I don't need a child violin. Um, is this all this is? You're not going to give me any like medicine or anything that I might need? I mean, I suppose I could buy an herbalism book. Um, I might need one of these lights. That's it then. Okay. I thought maybe I'd need some like bug spray or something like in Jungle Adventure. But I guess there's no health risk here. So I'm guessing, is this the, the deep woods? Or are we only just scratching the surface? What's going on here? Maybe I'll just use the sign to explore the woods. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, I see a bush. Oh, it's just a strawberry bush. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm getting a loading screen. Okay, so I actually have to go to another lot. But wait, which one? Maybe I have to go to this lot here to get to the deep woods? I've been to the deep woods before because I found the hermit. But I don't know if that's the only place you can discover bushes and shit. All right, let's just have a look around. I swear I just saw a woodpecker. Oh, oh shit, what do we have here? Wild plant. <gasps> okay, harvest unidentified fruit. Okay, so we've discovered huckleberry. I thought maybe she'd do a thing where she like takes a bite out of it to test it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Beautiful. We've acquired, oh, we've acquired gardening. Oh, what do we have over here? <gasps> Collect insects. What are you fuckers? Forest beetles? Yeah, we'll gather them up. Maybe we'll put them on a stick and roast them. We got three stick bugs. Okay, coo, coo. Oh, is this another bush here? Oh, it's just a sage bush. Another wild bush over here. But that seems to only really be going towards my gardening skill. Still haven't acquired herbalism. Oh, another wild plant. Guess we could dig up this rock as well. I could go see the hermit. I would like to at least acquire the skill first though. Oh, oh, are they insects that I can gather? Collect insects and some more right there. Collect those fuckers too. Okay, okay. I think the herbalism skill is something you grow as you like brew remedies, I think. So maybe like right now we're just in the resources section, just gathering resources perhaps. Okay, good job. Krista, good job. You know what? I'm actually just gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna go find... I'm gonna go find the hermit. If I can remember where that fucking portal was. Oh, it's right there. Okay, go and explore. Stop talking to this loser. Go and explore. See if we can find the hermit. They might be able to teach us how to herb. Let's go. Maybe it'll be a sexy sim in there. Okay, step forward. I can't remember which options you have to pick to get through. Uh, keep walking. Do we ignore the object or t take the object? Just take it. Oh no, we found a woodland monster. We shouldn't have taken the object. Okay, try again, try again. Give this another go. Okay, step forward. Keep walking. Ignore the object. Travel towards the sim. Okay, cool. Oh wow, we made it to the hermit's house. Oh, anything I can collect around here? Is this whole area up for me to explore? Can I collect those? Collect those insects, those pretty butterflies. We'll get those, we'll put them in some kind of brew, some face cleanser or something. What have we got here? Some basil. Can I brew anything? Brew a herbal remedy. Oh, I don't have the ingredients. Okay, harvest unidentified plant. But all I'm getting from harvesting is huckleberry. Maybe it's because my skill level isn't high enough to brew anything else, but... I mean, I could maybe read my herbalism skill. Maybe that's the point. I have to read the book first. Oh, what's this? De-stressing. Can I? Oh, I can't steal it. Oh, well. I could drink it, though. 
All right, finally, we have acquired the herbalism skill from reading our little book. Okay, we can now brew a new remedy. Okay, cool, cool. But do we have any ingredients to brew this remedy? Okay, I think I've got another idea. We're going to go back to the campsite, and then we're going to go to that little shop, and we're going to buy a bit of everything, and then see if we can start brewing things. Well, so far, we've been at this all day, and we've got to level two. <laughs> It might be fair to say I bit off a bit more than I could chew this time. Right, this time I am going to get a load of... A load of these ingredients. Okay, I've got everything that the shop has to offer in terms of ingredients. Oh, is that some fireflies? I need some of those. Get those fireflies, that's right. We could put them in some kind of ointment, I'm sure. Oh, we found some elderberries. Let's harvest some of those. Quite a lot of effort required for this skill. Some more bugs here. What do we have here? Oh, butterflies. Okay, very nice, very nice. So many insects we've gathered. And I can see some more in the distance over there. Okay, now I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Oh, is that an another? Oh no, that's just a bug in the distance that I can't harvest. I'm pretty sure I was behind this little shop to the left. Oh, here we go. Here's my little campsite. Oh, the fruit that I harvest. I need to get her to attempt to identify. Okay, cool, cool. Anything left unidentified? No, I think we know what we're working with here. Okay, I can brew a sadness alleviation lotion. Finally, we can brew something. Our first ever herbalism creation when we're not being attacked by flies. I hope that little shop restocks fruit and veg every day because I really need a strawberry. Oh, level three of the herbalism skill. We can also brew... Oh no, same thing. Sadness alleviation lotion. That's about all we can brew right now. Oh, we've got some more butterflies. Could really do with getting my hands on some strawberries. Oh no, no strawberries for sale. And collect these bumblebees. We don't have any of those yet. The insects I'm finding are quite easy to come across. The fruit though, not really finding much. Let's view this plant. Maybe our skill isn't high enough to be able to identify identify these plants. Oh, I could purchase some seeds though. I mean, who knows, there might be something really useful in one of these seeds. Well, I think I'm just gonna have to spend my time foraging and just seeing what I can find. Oh, woodpecker. So majestic. Really going at it, isn't he? So I've decided to make it summer because I feel like I kept coming across plants that hadn't like bloomed yet. So I feel like summer is probably a good time. We're just about to go and check out another unidentified plant. And then I might have a bit of a plan. I'm really struggling to build this skill because a few of these unidentified plants I'm seeing, I can't even identify because I'm not a high enough skill. Let's see if we can attempt to identify. And then we can attempt to identify this one as well. Oh, Noxious Elderberry. Okay, cool, cool. What about the other one? Muckleberry. Okay, perfect. I'm going to see if I can brew anything else. I don't think so. I still haven't been able to harvest strawberry. Oh, insect repellent. Okay, let's make some insect repellent. I'm thinking, oh, there's a little squirrel there. Thinking about maybe stopping by another lodge like going to visit and seeing if I could maybe buy some more herbalism books. I think this particular skill requires a lot of patience and a lot of repetitive action. Oh, herbalism level four. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I might get her to apply some of that insect repellent and then we'll brew something else as well. Oh shit, you started a fire. Oh, you had one job. Oh, and now we have to pay to replace it. Ah, oh, well, I suppose that makes sense. You break it, you board it, I guess. But we've used up the last of our elderberry for the insect repellent. I wonder, though, if I visit this place, maybe there's a bookshelf where I can buy another herbalism book. Oh, no, I can't go inside. Oh, what if I go to the other lot? That might They might have a bookcase in the dark woods lot. This one right here, Granite Falls Forest. So let's brush up on our herbalism. Herbalism Volume 2. Hopefully, if we read that book, we'll be able to identify more plants because I'm hitting a bit of a roadblock in that I'm not really getting many opportunities to build this skill because even the unidentified plants I've got in my inventory, I still don't have a high enough skill to identify. So maybe we'll brush up on a few chapters of the Herbalism book and then we'll take a wander outside and see if we can find some bushes.
You had enough reading? Okay. Just spending a, a lot of time searching. Oh, there's a bush there. What's that? A wild plant. Oh, still. I could only view it. Oh, well, there's some more fireflies. I'm doing really well on the insect front. I'm doing really well at gathering insects. Oh, unidentified fruit. It's just the plants that I'm kind of struggling with a little bit. Maybe we'll have a wander down here. I mean, I could try and brew another herbal remedy. That would build my skill a little bit. I feel like I can kind of tell that this is an early skill, like a skill from one of the earlier packs, because it's not that easy to, bu to build it up. I've got my sadness alleviation lotion. I will save that for when I'm feeling sad. So far, I've only been able to brew two remedies, sadness alleviation and the insect repellent. Yeah, a lot of these plants I can just view. So maybe they're just not ready to harvest yet. Okay, well then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get her to read all of the herbalism books. Because I think I might have to wait until the sun comes up before these plants start to bloom again. And then I can actually harvest something from it. So let's just do a bit of light reading. Oh, level five. I can now brew tummy therapy recipes. Well, I can't really brew anything. I don't have the ingredients. What do I need to keep an eye out for? I know I need to keep an eye out for strawberries. Oh, I've got the ingredients to brew the tummy therapy, though. I need chamomile and locust, which I haven't encountered yet at all. Oh, and a walking stick. Let's brew the tummy therapy. See what that does. <laughs> if you can avoid setting yourself on fire for a minute. Okay, let's see what this tummy therapy is all about. Please don't set it on fire. Okay, let's drink it. I wonder what it does. Maybe it's to help nauseous sims, perhaps? How's it going? It tastes good? Any mood buffs? Burnt arm from campfire. <laughs> no, nothing from the tummy potion. Can we brew another one? Yes, brew another one just to keep in your inventory for just in case we need it. I don't know what it does or what it's for, but it might come in handy. Oh, there's an unidentified fruit thing over there. Let's go harvest that. Any more bushes? Oh, there's one right there, I think. It's all just the same fruit though, it's all huckleberries. Okay, we should have a few unidentified fruits in our inventory now. So let's try and identify what we've got. Okay, I am noticing a few more of these plants I can harvest now, which is good news. Maybe it just needed a little bit of time. Oh, level six. We can now brew clear mind distillation and fire leaf extract remedies. Okay, cool. But do I have the ingredients to make any of that? I really need the locust and chamomile. Oh, I found something. Fire leaves. First time I've encountered fire leaves. I'm trying to spot as many ground insects as I can. I think I found a couple praying mantis. Oh, what are you? Gotta harvest these fuckers, gotta harvest them. I'm gonna sit and watch them to make sure we don't miss them. Oh no, they disappeared. Oh shit, we took too long to harvest them. Okay, I think I've got some unidentified <laughs> objects in my inventory now. Oh, there's some bugs down there. Go get those. And let's get those as well. And some of those poison fire leaves. Oh, this is quite a good spot, actually. I feel like there's a lot of um, cuts in this video. But that's only because so much of this video is just really boring. It's just literally me just going through the forest and trying to find something. All right, I think now, I found mostly what I can find here in the dark woods. I could not find any chamomile. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for that. But now I think we're gonna go to the hermit's lot and see if there's anything we can get there. Cause I think you can get mushrooms over in the hermit's lot. Okay, I have some, I'm sure I've got some unidentified objects in here. Unidentified flower. Another unidentified flower. Those must be the fire leaves, I think. Don't try the poison one. Okay, cool. We've identified some stuff. Now let's have a look around here and see if we can find anything else we can harvest. Well, I have found absolutely nothing at the hermit's place. Literally nothing. So I think I'm going to make an executive decision at this point. I want to max out this skill and I'm just nowhere near. So... I'm gonna end my vacation, send my sim back to her empty plot of land where she lives. I'm just gonna use Build and Buy to get the ingredients that I couldn't find. I have searched high and low. I've literally spent hours today <laughs> trying to find what I need.
Ah, oh, home sweet home with just our bed. But I do want to, I, I need to fast track this somehow because I need to max this skill out. So I'm just going to give myself all of the ingredients I need to brew every remedy. And then maybe I'll give her the herbalism books as well, just to give us a boost because we really need it now. Okay, I've got the plants I need. I still didn't manage to find any fire, ant fire ants, but we're just going to have to make all of the brews we can without them. So... We're going to go back on vacation, back to Granite Falls. I've, get, I've bought a couple herbalism books as well, so that should help us along the way. Okay, let's see what we can brew. Oh, clear mind. We could do that one. Ugh, even with all the stuff, though, there are still several that I cannot do. Oh, I should have got some. I should have got a strawberry when I was at home. Oh, that's annoying. I'm just going to get her to brew a load of stuff and see where that gets us in terms of our herbalism skill. Let's drink the clear mind one and see what that does. See if that gives us a mood buff or something. Oh, clear mind. The perfect remedy for curing a dazed head. Oh, I see. Okay, so when a sim gets a dazed mood buff, I can give them that. Oh, herbalism level seven. We can now brew natural... Oh, what was that? Natural herbicide oil remedies. But do I have the ingredients? No. I need toxic chamomile. Oh, shit, I've used it all up. Okay, well, I think we should probably use this time to do a little bit of studying. And then while you read a little herbalism book, I'll keep my eyes peeled for any creepy crawlies. We've been reading all night, and we're almost at level 8. I quite like the herbalism skill. I think it's quite fun when you get into it. The only issue I have with it, apart from reading a herbalism book, which is a bit boring, it's so difficult to actually build the skill because it takes so much to gather the ingredients and then you do all of that but then you're only actually gaining skill from like a couple of seconds while she's brewing it together so it is a very very slow building skill okay level eight we can now brew energizer infusion remedies but can i though no because i need a dragonfly okay oh i thought i caught a dragonfly already Oh, I really can't be asked to go looking through these woods again to try and find bugs, but I think I might have to. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can hunt some bugs. Well, I got some fireflies, and it only took me all day. So now I can do the Energizer Infusion Remedy. Oh, this is going to make us so energized. It's going to make us energized as fuck. See her sprinkling the little huckleberry there? Level 9, we can now brew Rage Relieving... Oh, okay. That'll be handy if you're around werewolves. Can I brew anything else? Oh, I already have the bits for the rage relieving. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I can make another energizer infusion. Yeah, the only ones I haven't been able to make are the ones that need a locust, so the soothing skin yeah. balm. I haven't made this one yet. Uh, the natural herbicide no. oil. The deodorizing cream or the fire leaf extract. Yeah, I haven't seen any fire ants anywhere. But I guess what I'll do is I'll just brew everything I can until I'm completely out of ingredients. I think I can only actually make two. I think this might be my last brewing option. Because I'm powering through my insects and my harvestables. Yeah. Looks like when you actually brew remedies though, it does build the skill up a lot quicker than reading the book. It's just like I say, the issue is, isn't actually the brewing. It's the long process it takes to gather the ingredients. I wonder if, if I get her to drink an energized, sorry, a focus Ooh. potion, I wonder if that increases our skill be building even more. So now we're very focused, so I wonder if we'll build up even quicker. Oh yeah, 51% complete. The skill is building so quickly now that we're focused and that we have ingredients to just keep brewing recipes. Yeah, already it's 78%. Oh, we've mastered the herbalism skill. We can now make the elixir of fertility. Well, if I have the ingredients, I'll make it. But I doubt I will. No, what would I need for that? Willow the wisp and false morel mushroom. What the fuck is a willow the wisp? I mean, I can take a guess at what these do. Overall, I think the herbalism skill, I could see it being fun back in the day when The Sims was still a young game. And there is some fun to be had building this skill. It does get a bit tedious, though. It does feel like a lot of work for very little payoff. Like, all of the elixirs that I've unlocked, they all do things that 
you can do in other games as well, you know, like elixir to get rid of anger. Well, you can unlock a potion in that in the reward store. An elixir for fertility. Well, you can wish for that at the wishing well. There isn't really anything that unique. Not from what I can see, anyway. It just looks like a really long and drawn out way of achieving things that you can achieve in much simpler ways. <laughs> with the exact same result. But, as long of a process as it has been, I am glad that I did test out this skill because now I know something new about this game that I wouldn't have found out had I not gone through the labour of the hours of searching woods for fucking plants and fucking bugs. So I guess I've even learnt something as well. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.